Hello friends, in my previous video, I already discussed in detail how to demonstrate uh, the uh, Fourier series in MATLAB and how to get a feel for Fourier series. Now in this video, I am going to discuss about Gibbs phenomenon and I will show you by MATLAB what is actually Gibbs phenomenon occurs, where actually it occurs. So let us discuss. So see, you just take on square wave, which is basically odd function. See, just this kind of square wave, if we take, it is clear and you can say itself from the basic concept of signal and system that it is one odd function, right? Because f of minus x equal to minus of fx condition is satisfied from the graph itself, we can say. In the x-axis, omega into t is plotted. In the y-axis, amplitude of the square wave is plotted. And the amplitude or the square wave, we can say, is oscillating from minus a to a, okay? Now, if you take the trigonometric Fourier expansion of this square wave, if you represent in terms of sine and cos by Fourier series, then you will get this type of expression f of t is equal to 4a by pi summation over 1 by n sin n omega t where n for only odd values okay that is 1 3 5 7 9 dot dot up to infinity okay you know that upper limit is going to be infinity so this is what we can get by applying Fourier series again the derivation you can check in youtube or internet uh, in every books the basic derivation of the square wave the triangular wave the sawtooth wave these are theirs so you can check there i am not going to discuss that in this detail because uh, my intention is to give you a feel about gibbs phenomenon via matlab okay so basically see this is the formula now see what is going to happen as i if you have seen my previous video then you might know that by just adding uh, one second by adding here the upper limit is infinity right so you no need to add to infinity for n values up to infinity you just add for first few samples and then only by plotting that graph uh, of the summation block you will get a feel that what type of graph it is or what type of signal it is going to be right but in case of square wave it is not going to happen suppose you take some basic values of uh, some initial values of n suppose you take up to n equal to 5 or 10 or whatever you will not get properly a square wave see here i have taken one particular incident suppose some of first 11 harmonics if you take now then this waveform see this one observe the mouse pointer this one is basically going to before n equal to 11 which is not going to give us a proper idea about what whether the signal is properly square wave or not you will not get a proper feel right so basically for other cases although by adding up small smaller inverse of uh, sample itself you can get an idea that what type of signals it is going to be but in case of square wave it is not going to happen because there is an abrupt change from plus a amplitude to minus a amplitude so that you will not get an idea uh, after adding the 11 harmonics also you will not get a feel that what type of signals it is going to be you, you may misguide your uh, signal okay so the crest basically the crest is going to oscillate like sine wave instead of uh, becoming like a horizontal line parallel to x-axis and this is called as Gibbs phenomenon so if you write in terms of normal theoretical english language you will get as we add more and more harmonics this sum looks more and more like square wave obviously right because already in my previous video i have shown you as we add more and more harmonics then we will get uh, almost looking a signal almost looking like so to the f1 if you have not seen my previous video i will post the link you just check in the description okay however the crest do not become flattened in the square wave case this is known as known as Gibbs phenomenon, and it occurs because of the discontinuity of the perfect square wave form as it changes from the plus a to minus a amplitude. See, that's what I have told you. As a plus a to minus a abrupt changes there, no? so that it is not going to give you a proper square wave form in the crest. Instead of like one oscillating sine type, it will give you. So instead of dealing this type of theory background, let us directly go to MATLAB and let us try to visualize. Okay. So basically, I am not going to write the whole code. Already in my previous video, see, demonstration of, demonstration of Fourier series of sort of from in MATLAB. Here in the description, I have written the code. So what I am going to do, I will just copy the code here. And I will modify it according to my need. Okay. So see, I am just pasting my previous code. 
and here some little modifications we will do see what are the modifications see the formula here it was 4a by pi right f of t is equal to 4a by pi into summation over 1 by n sin n omega t but previously for solute it was 2a by pi so that what we will do in this code just we will modify it as 4a by pi this is first modification and second modification is for uh, when we are dealing with solute from <coughs> sorry we have taken any values of n we could have considered but here only n equal to odd it is applicable so what we are going to do i equal to 1 colon 2 colon 2 star n plus or minus 1 also you can write because generally odd function is defined by 2 n plus 1 or 2 n minus 1 why i have given 2 increment try to understand it clearly i is equal to 1 i am starting right so next order function is 3 that means from 1 to 3 i have to increment by 2 then 3 to 5 increment by 2 like that that now so basically you have to give increment in this case is 2 okay now see this is what is going to be quote for square wave but one more modification we have to do we have to just remove this previous for so to delete this and write the quote for square wave which is going to be some 1 by n sin n omega t right so basically it will be y plus actually it was c 4a by pi and here 4a by pi is basically a right so write a 4a by pi into 1 by n is here so a by i inside one bracket you just write okay uh, then star what is the factor sine i star tell me i star uh, omega stars t instead of n we have to write i you know if you have, don't know please check my previous video i have explained so okay so this is what is going to be uh, now a by i yes see this is one array this is one array so we have to give correct dot star okay these things in this situation you should know already i have discussed several times in my dsp playlist you can check my playlist for that so i hope so this code is ready let us check Control a evaluate selection enter the n value let me give for smaller n and let me show you what is the case which is going to be see this is for n equal to 2 that means only first two harmonics i have added and see it is not at all looking like a square wave okay let's increase this we may get proper square wave for higher harmonics addition of higher harmonics sorry evaluate selection let me give for n equal to 5 see now also the harmonic is not gone but in previous case in sawtooth itself we were uh, we got a almost proper sawtooth in for n equal to 5 okay let's increase further for let me take n equal to 100 then see see if you observe see the crest part i will zoom it for you see the crest part see this is not a horizontal line parallel to x-axis this is the crest is giving gibbs phenomenon because it is distorted see so this is what gibbs phenomenon is nothing else okay so what it says you will never get uh, a exact crest in a square wave form until you add infinite harmonics okay or very high amount of harmonics until you add other you will not get a proper square wave form so let us try to visualize this same concept with one animation then it will be more clear to you just ob observe this animation i will post the same code in the description so that you can run in your matlab software also so first step is one proper square wave form then see harmonics is increasing and it is almost looking like one square wave form now see for what is the code i have applied see first of all for first i have plotted one square wave form by two star square t this is the code and to make the animation i have used pause one operator so that there is a pause in between two executions okay now first case for n equal to eight that is for red one then for n equal to four i have taken here for green for blue i have taken n equal to nine then 
see i will show you the extreme case for yolo that is for yolo graph see what i n equal to 5000 i am taking and you just observe the original square wave was in magenta color and the magenta color square wave form and the yolo color square wave form will almost superimpose on each other see it properly see this is magenta color original square wave form and these are the harmonics addition See the yellow color observe. Observe the yellow color. It is almost superimposing on the square wave form, right? Let me plot it separately for you to easily understanding purpose. So I will take the first part of the code and make it uh, hold on. Just I will plot in a different window. Okay. So hold on. Uh, instead of hold on, let me give subplot operator. Then it will be more clear. Uh, subplot. Uh, 1,1 okay now uh, let me take only the yellow color case for n equal to 5000 that is extreme type case okay so this is what it is going to be now a is not mentioned so just copy a a and y okay let me take these two copy and paste it here okay so already y is defined so no need to write that and here again subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 okay let us verify see this is my original square wave form where i have not applied any Fourier series concept and this is my square wave form where i have applied just added sign signals and uh, sign signals of uh, uh, 5000 harmonics and we got see the yellow wave form is almost looking like a square wave form but this we are achieving this horizontal test we are achieving where at n equal to see 5000 that means this much after adding this much harmonics we are getting the almost a uh, crest and then again also if you zoom there now then also you will find some small uh, uh, disturbance are there in the crest okay so this is basically gives phenomenon which says that you will never get an exact crest okay because there is a huge jump from plus a to minus in case of square wave form so this is what gives phenomenon is this concept is very important for uh, the signal system or uh, the communication engineering point of view. This is what I want to show you. I hope you have got a feeling what is actually Keeps phenomenon is because instead of reading the theories, if you try to apply in MATLAB, it will keep in your, it will be vivid and it will remain in your mind for a longer days. You will not forget the concepts easily. Anyway, for your uh, application purpose i will post the code of the animation and the original square wave form generation from the that is demonstration of square wave form of Fourier series in matlab i will post in the description if you want you can cross verify in your matlab software okay this is all for my this video for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and if this video is helpful to you please like share and comment thank you for watching